Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we're finding, learning, turning the great strategy games, and today we're into War Plan Pacific yet again. It is now January 18th, 1942. We're on turn four. Things are cooking here in the dojo kitchen. Uh, we have progressed, and I want to keep playing this game. This game comes out tomorrow. That is April 29th of the year 2021. The Common Era, AD, whatever uh, your flavor. Anyway, it's 2021. <laughs> so e either way, tomorrow is tomorrow, however you count it. And so uh, the game comes out tomorrow on the Matrix website. I do want to keep playing this game as much as possible. Uh, because, hey, once it comes out, you're going to have, once you have your grubby little hands on it, you uh, will say, well, whatever, I don't need to watch this dojo. I've got a better plan than you. Uh, so anyway, I'm enjoying the heck out of the game. I'm having a good time. So I wanted to play it some more anyway. Uh, let's go to the combat log, he says. Now, this was last turn. So current turn, we can go look and see what's going on on the current turn. Well, let's do that. Okay. So we've got some partisan activity at 5480. Um, there's 80. There's 54. Okay. Okay. Oh, they're back here busting up rail. I love it. Way to go, Chinese partisans. Um, then we have some at 5482, which would be right there. Some more rail busting. Um, that's great. You know, the, the less supply they can get out here. And then we had another one. Wow, these Chinese uh, partisans are tough. I like it. Uh, 4582. Okay, so this is out here uh, to the southeast of Bangkok, down near Kamran, Kwang Nigi, uh, just north of Saigon, uh, northeast of Saigon. And then we had a convoy attack. Whoa, whoa. That's that con. There it is. That's that dang. Look at me. You know, I'm like, zoop, with my got my field binoculars out. And I was like, oh, this these sons of guns. So we had a convoy t attack out here. Now, we kind of knew that uh, because we had seen Merchant Marine sunk one, Escort sunk one. The problem is we've only got six escorts. We're not fully protecting that line. Uh, yeah. you know, we've got this problem because we're going to be sending stuff across the Bay of Bengal, or are we? I mean, that's the real question. We maybe put all the Brit escorts, uh, into the Indian Ocean. Oh, that reminds me. Someone said in the comment comments, it's not Aussies, it's Aussies. Aussies, the land of Oz, right? The land down under, uh, where, where men chunder down there. Uh, good to know. I'll start saying Aussies. Uh, you know, I guess you could, I mean, I can make up my own word, can't I? I can call them Aussies if I want. No, I'm going to go with Aussies. I don't want you guys mad at me. I love uh, Australian folk. Um, now we're down to five escorts here. I'll be danged. And we did put a two hurting, a two attack hurting on this sub through our escorts. So they got us a little bit. They suck a suck whoa sunk sunk uh an escort in a merchant marine ship uh but we knocked him back a little bit now subs generally have three points so we took out two of the three there that's our combat log for so far this turn during the japanese uh just you know i guess well that's kind of interesting right so the japanese have already gone now if we look at last turn so let's go to land combat Okay, we see all of this where they just, you know, smoked us a little bit. Uh, we put a one on them. They put, oh no, I'm sorry. They lost two strength. It's this one here, right? So it lights up red. Um, they put, or they took two in loss. We took one. All right. If we go just south of there. They took one and we took two. Okay. Uh, here in China, 
they took a loss. Now we held there, okay? We should go look at these generals too. We should be building up command points. Every turn you get one command point, depending on how much you're building or how much of your logistics you're using, you may get two command points. And then it costs a certain number of points to replace these generals. We haven't really looked at the generals much because that wasn't an issue per se, but I think we should look at that this turn. Um, I like all of it. I like how it lists, you know, what the factors were that went into the battle. Uh, here, they had attacked there. Uh, they took no loss. We took a one land loss. We shattered that defending unit. It was only a brigade group. I mean, these little brigades out here aren't going to do a whole lot, uh, unfortunately. Uh, land combat, we held there. Although we did take a two-point loss. Ouch. Okay, so this was the previous, so they attacked there twice, and this, they held the first time, but then they shattered the second time. Land combat out here, uh, our 18th army group just shattered, huh? Wow, okay, ah, that hurts. Uh, a whole army group, eh, okay, that's not ideal. We're going to have to start dropping back here a little faster, it seems. This is out of supply, uh, pretty much, or it's going to be there. You can see that yellow little dot there that's letting us know there we had a carrier strike here now we've gotten that sub out of here now uh but carriers can hit subs if they've got detection level on them we did have a sub destroyed ouch okay so this is how some of this works uh swordfish was out here the squadron was out here the defenders have 10 escorts here so it's completely protected Okay, which means we probably have no business sitting on this. We need to find a new one uh, because it's completely protected if they have 10 escorts. Okay, and they got a sub hunter bonus of plus 1%. Uh, that's probably because they have a cap or they have a ship group sitting on this convoy lane. Uh, shoot, well, that stinks. Uh, the Grayling did get off some uh, shots, but they're not going to do anything if this has got 10 escorts. Uh, we could maybe hit an escort, but I don't think we can get to the Merch Marines while they have. And so the Skipjack, same idea. We may have to get that out of here. Partisan activity, uh, more of that. This time they were trying to break up rail here into Bangkok. One night in Bangkok. Uh, in Nanking, we had some partisan. A lot of Chinese partisan activity. Wow. All right. I like it. Uh, that helps. Um all right, so that's about it. You get the idea. Uh, the <clears throat> excuse me, the Chinese partisans are out here trying to disrupt the Japanese supply, uh, supply and whatever else they're sending out. No, they're really sending supply out to those units, but they could also be moving units down that rail, I guess. Uh, okay, so let's go and look what we've got here. Um, we've got this destroyer squad. It is now, <clears throat> excuse me. It is now completely supplied up. We could... Hmm. Okay, back with you. Sorry about that. I had to go... You know, you probably didn't notice because I hit it pause. I had to go get a drink. I was like, my gosh, man. You sound like you're dying over here. Uh, okay, what were we doing? Well, we had looked at the combat log. Let's go look at the deployment schedule. I don't think we have anything uh, for the for uh, the UK. We've got some things coming in in early February. Of course, the headliners here is when we finally get the transports. We need transports. And then you see this long lag between 1942 and 1944. We need to be building some stuff in there. Uh, but if we look at the build queue, um, the UK now has a 121 stockpile. Again, I keep you know eyeing these escorts. Now, especially since we lost one uh, out here trying to protect the Indian Ocean. Um, that actually makes me think, you know, let's go look here. What are we even shipping through the Bay of Bengal? Uh, you know, we've got six here. Should we bump this up to 10 in the Indian Ocean? I think maybe we should. Um, let's take this off for now. And whoops, let's bump that to 10. Actually, I guess we, uh, it has no, well, there we go. That tells us our answer. So we've got some things in the South China. Yeah, it's right here, dummy. 
There you go. Uh, South China Sea, Indonesia. We've got some stuff going there. Um, let's go see exactly what they consider Indonesia. We'll put one in there. Uh, but what this convoy lane looks like for Indonesia. Uh, is that, are they considering... Oh, I bet you... Hmm. Okay, what's this one? This is Bay of Bengal. Okay. What's this? That's also Bay of Bengal. What's this? South China Sea. Okay. South China Sea. Oh, I bet you this is what they're considering. Nope, that's South China Sea. So is that. These are all South China Sea. Huh. Well, um, hmm. Okay, we've got Indian Ocean. We've got Bay of Bengal. This is all Bay of Bengal, is it not? Yep, this is all the Bay of Bengal one. Let's just turn these on, as a matter of fact, so we can see them. Uh, trade convoys, trade convoys. There we go. Um, that's South China Sea. That's South China Sea. Do we have something? Huh. So that one's not being used. We know that. Um, okay. Now we can really see them. Now it's interesting. These are both South China Sea, right? Uh, this is East China Sea. Okay. Hadn't seen that one before. I mean, Thailand, Thailand, and we get out here and it's South China Sea on this convoy route. Hmm. We've got nothing running through there. We do have stuff running through the Indian Ocean. Well, okay, we're going to we're gonna let her ride with 10 in the Indian Ocean now. 10 Indian Ocean, 10 South Pacific. Those are likely the two most important ones. Um, convoy. Oh, you can turn these on and Oh, cool. Okay, I didn't realize that. Uh, my bad. Active convoy in the zone. Well, how can it be active in the zone if I can't see it? Dang it. Let's go find it. I'm going to I'm going to keep doing this. I mean, I don't know why the Indi uh the Indonesian one <laughs> would not be right by Indonesia. Uh it's got to be. It's got to be one of these must be considered Indonesia and I'm just not understanding where that is. Um there south china sea not there i mean it can't be any of these you know it would be right here by indonesia you would think you would think but uh you know i've been wrong before certainly now nope not there, not there. No. Okay, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. Uh, I think this is fine. This is probably how I would have it anyway. I would like to know exactly where that is. Now, the South China Sea, I'm not really sure why we have active convoys there. I, You know, where are they taking things? Maybe here? Oh, you know, hmm. You know, some of these move on routes which are not on the convoys when they're just taking supply to places. Where are the Brits taking supply? Colombo, Suva, Diego Garcia, Kuala Balat. Okay, that's right there. It could be that that's why it's showing these are active because those kind of operate, I mean, they don't really have a whole lot to do with you. Um... Caving? Could that? No. Bayun? I, you know, this is going to drive me nuts. I, I will eventually find out. I will move on from this in just a second. Uh, just stuff like this drives me absolutely insane when I can't find something and I want to find it. 
Yeah, see, these are not on the main convoy routes, but they are running supply out here. Um, interesting. Okay, we're going to move on, as I said. Now, we could ship two more oil uh, somewhere. We've still got 14 Merch Marine ships here, so we could stick some more oil. We're going to go look at how well that worked moving the oil that we did. You can see here the U.S. still... You know, has a lot more capacity it could be shipping about. Uh, let's go to Australia, he says, and let's look at the build queue. All right, they've now got 63 here. They also have six oil. And so now I believe uh, we can move some, excuse me, we can move one, some of these units around. But first of all, let's take this, we go down this way towards Dobby with this one and maybe all the way to Port Hedland. Does that work for you? Uh, it works for me. Let's take that one that way and we'll bring this one up to Darwin. Almost there, almost there to Darwin uh, so that we have a full division there. Then we have the grayling that's back here. It cannot repair here. And so we're gonna have to move it out uh, and take that. Now we just put that there, right? So it has no operation points left. Uh, we'll take that around to Sydney. Now the planes here, the air superiority group, I really want to fly over here to Moresby. Can we get all the way there? I don't think we can. How close can we get? Uh, okay, could we rail it? Not really. Um, does he have enough? Yeah, he's got enough supply. This will use one oil. So we're actually just going to put them right, I don't know, here. And you can do that uh, if it's a clear hex. It's like they built an airfield out here very quickly. Next time we'll float this over to Port, not float it, fly it over to Port Moresby. Okay, that works. Um, now then, we have also got this tactical group and now that we've got a an american tactical group up here i think we can put these guys over in port moresby but do we want to do that before we have the interceptors over there mm, i don't think so uh what's interesting is they're not going to be able to both be in that hex at the same time and here you see we've got an airfield even though this is considered mountain you can build airfields, right? Or they're already on the map. And as you can see, this is already on the map. So we'll probably take the air superiority, maybe put it there. We'll put the tack uh, there. So when the Japanese land here, we've got some tactical bombing going on. Always like tactical bombing. Uh, let's look at the naval here, the Canberra. It's trying to repair. Uh, well, actually it cannot repair at Townsville. Uh, I brought it back here to get supply, but now that I see that it needs repair, let's take it down to Sydney. All right, so now it'll repair down there. It's got to be a level five or above. Uh, that all looks fine. And let's go actually, well, let's just go look at our stuff, our, our, our various warnings over here. So we have a low uh, oil stockpile. Uh, U.S. has 28 oil in the stockpile. Okay, I mean, they're, you know, it is what it is. Not like we can build oil fields out here. I wish we could. That'd be kind of cool, but we can't. Um, unit has low supply. Okay. It's this one out here by the Hawaiians. It's still got one left. We'll take it back next time. Uh, we have another unit with low supply. This is the one out here by Johnston. Let's just take that back into Honolulu. We'll let that sit there for a turn, get some supply up. Uh, unit has low supply. It's this one, right? Yeah. No. 27th Army Group. Is that what I'm over? It is. Uh, we got to back this unit up anyway uh, because we're coming under heavy pressure here. And it's it's getting no supply out here at all. So we got to get it backing up. Back that thing up. Um we get no supply there, unfortunately. But maybe we'll take this. Eh, let's take this unit this way walk this way because the um the japanese are pressuring us right here and i actually want to move the headquarters kind of uh, do i dare move him there i guess we'll kind of move him here kind of right in between now all these guys are in 
uh, command. That's all fine. Oh, speaking of which, let's go look and see how many command points they have. They have eight, and it costs five to get a new commander. Well, this guy's 525. Five. Now, none of the Chinese guys have a lot of mobility. We're really looking for combat, and it looks like he's good. I mean, 525 five is, that's fine. That's fine. No reason to replace that guy. We'll go look at all of them uh, this turn. Unit has no supply source. Okay, that was this unit. We're now out of here, uh, and we'll keep moving back to get it into supply. You see here, there's nothing here. Uh, we don't get a one until we move back one more, and I can't move him anymore. So, you know, it is what it is. He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to keep moving back. Unit has low supply. Okay, that's the skipjack. Skipjack's still sitting on three and three. We'll leave him out here for one more turn. He's fine. Unit has low supply. Okay, we've already moved him back into a one, so at least he's getting a little bit. Uh, and he also had no supply source. Same message, really. Uh, in Malaya, we're trying to get this unit back here to help at Kota Baru. Uh, we cannot take it to active. I think that's because they're completely out of supply. I, like, there is no supply source for them. And so... They're stranded out here, and they can't pull any supply down to go to active status. So just that's why that's happening. Uh, same kind of a double message there. No supply source. That's why we can't do anything. Uh, no supply source. Out. Uh, oh, wait a minute. What was this one? Oh, he's completely out. Right. Okay, so he goes in here, and the other guy, um, not the Deroiter. Prince of Wales is now repairing. I think it was this Exeter, right? So we'll click off of everything, click on the Exeter, and we'll just go right out here to help boost that convoy. We've got a 10 escort now through here, but this also gives you a sub-hunter bonus uh, when you're sitting on there. Um, partisans, where are the partisans going on? Where's the partisan? Uh, no. Uh, okay, I tried that joke twice, and neither time I was like, ah, I don't think that really worked. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that, uh, that's all the partisan. That's all of our warnings over here. Let's go to the U.S. West Coast. Let's see if we want to do anything. I just want to look down here really quickly. I don't think there's anything we can do in French Polynesia. Uh, still heavy rain out here for another turn. Now it started to clear this way. Uh, but yeah, we got double raindrops falling on your head. Um, second Marines just stranded here uh, until we get transports. Oh, the DD squad, it's ready to go. Let's get this thing fired back up and out here. We'll just take it right there. How about that? Um, right, and so this gives a bonus for sub hunting, etc. This one I'm just going to put right there. I don't know why I like to have them at that little bow. It does, you know, they've got a hex or a radius of 24 total, 12 on each side. Uh, but I just kind of like to do that. Call, call me crazy. Uh, this one I like to sit right in front of LA and San Diego. That all looks fine to me. Okay. Um, nothing we can do with this ground unit, the 40th Infantry Division. Nothing we can do with 3rd Bomber. We could try to fly it out here. Nope. The only place we can fly it is San Francisco. It's a great sightseeing trip, but it wastes oil. Uh, we've got the headquarters here at Morro Bay, a beautiful place, Morro Bay, if you ever get the chance. Uh, Ninth Corps. Ninth Corps is an Infantry Corps large. We will eventually split that. No reason to do so now. Uh, is this already on? You know what? A... It's going to pull down a lot, a lot of stuff when we go to active status with this. Uh, okay, it is what it is. It's fine. We've got all of these um, battleships over here, the battleship groups, I should say. They're all repairing. These all came out of Pearl. Let's get out of, out of selecting all of them and get back here to just on the CLDD. This one I think we're going to send through the loop to Australia. Um, we need more uh, destroyers out that way. So it will show up at the Australian or what says West Coast down uh, at the bottom of the map by Australia. It's going through the loop. Uh, wow, that they probably feel weird. What is this like Tenet or uh, what was that? Uh, what's that game? Loop Hero. Um, all right. All battleships. 
Uh, the bomber group's just sitting here. Hopefully we'll repair soon enough. Uh, we don't want to fly them anywhere. Seattle, we've got a full core large up here. So we've got six divisions between Seattle and San Francisco. So I'm, a, you know, I'm not that worried about uh, getting more divisions built. We just can't even move the ones we have. Uh, the destroyer squad, okay, that can move right out here to protect uh, Vancouver and Seattle if something decides to come up this way. Um, okay, I think that all looks good. Uh, let's go over here to Dutch Harbor. Not a whole lot going to, on at Dutch. Set to Let's set that to active. And the reason I'm going to do that is basically because by the time uh, anything Japanese gets here, it's too late to go to active. You know, let's just do it now. Uh, it's it's a garrison, but that's fine. It just pulls down a little oil, a little supply to go back to active. It is fine. Let's go to, what about Midway? Midway, um, let's set that to active as well. Uh, Pearl. Hey, Pearl. Uh, active status set to garrison. No. Okay. So we've got all these here. Uh, we've got this destroyer group out here. That's fine. We've got all of these units, but not a whole lot to do with them. Uh, the fourth destroyer squadron now has enough supply to go out and about. Where do we want to send that? Actually, I do want to send one down here. Um, not there. I want to go kind of not there either. Let's go here first. And then let's take that into out here by Pago Pago. Okay, so we'll get a destroyer there. Uh, we'll also eventually get that. Oh, that reminds me. Let's get this destroyer group that now is fully in supply. Let's get them up here um, and put them on there for a little sub hunting if they can do it. Uh, so that's out of there. Let's go back out up to Pearl Harbor. See what else we're dealing with. Uh, yeah, we got more destroyer squadrons out here. Of course we do. Three, three. You know, we got a lot of them floating around. We're using a lot of oil for probably not much uh, benefit here. But I, I do want to have one somewhere out here. Um, sure. Let's just put him right there for now. They're just kind of watching for any Japanese activity. Uh, the U.S. will eventually ramp up a lot of oil supply. Right now, it's a little lacking. They weren't ready, of course, uh, but they will be eventually. The 14th Destroyer Squadron, uh, I may just leave that around here. Eventually, we'll put some of these in with the carriers, uh, but we're not moving the carriers anytime soon. Um, hmm. Okay. Now what he says... Well, I think let's go to the U.S. build queue and see where we are. We've got a stockpile of 330, so we could get new planes. Um, but what I really want to keep doing is building. I want to get more transports. Okay, I want to build more of those. Now, it's going to be six months, but uh, what can you do? So do we have shipyards? Yeah, we got 60 shipyards back. Okay, that's what I was hoping. Uh, we got some things uh, cranked out there. So let's purchase tr another transport, okay? And let's purchase another Merch Marine. Okay, now we're down to 130. Let's purchase... Most of these are going to be going South Pacific, though, then we've got that well protected. Plus, we got 12 of them um, escorts here, and we're using 10. So, you know, we've got a couple extra. Let's put it that way. If, if something gets, you know, blown out, out of the water, we've got a couple extra. We're going to stay at 12 then until we really, really need to go down another supply convoy, but I don't think we will. Okay, we're going to let the rest of that then build, and we're going to build some more airplanes next time. Um, now, it made it seem like, let's go to the deployment schedule. Did we get something this time? It's January 18th. No, we did not. Nothing's here. Okay. Uh, we know the Brits didn't. Uh, okay. The uh, Soviet Union has some reserve units. All right. Uh, supply truck. China. We built this. We built this city. Um, 
let's look and see. Okay, so the U.S. we're going to let build again. That should put about I don't know. We be, should be close to 400 in that stockpile next time. The oil stockpile. Eh, come on, guys. Come on. Uh, the Soviets have 64 in their stockpile. We could start building some stuff from them for them eventually. We shall see. Oh, nice. So the Chinese have 95 in their stockpile. We are just going to build armies every time we can, anytime we get a chance. Uh, but it takes 180. Shoot. So it costs a... Oh, it's because it's a full army, right? Yep. Okay, so it's 120 for a cavalry corps, 180... Wow, 300. I don't think we're going to be building any of that for the Chinese. They need 180. Uh, okay, okay. Well, we'll be back for you. It'll be anti-tank, of course. We'll be back for you for that. Uh, let's look also then Australia. How's Australia doing? Stockpile 63 to get this anti-tank infantry division. We need 78. So we should be able to get that next time. How much do Marines cost? Marines are too expensive. Uh, we will build this next turn for the Aussies. Uh, the Canadians are just building up a stockpile of maple syrup. They're hanging out there. Come on, Canadians. Uh, Communist China. Yeah, I've heard of it. Um, they're up to 51. They will be able to get a unit here. At some point, it's going to take a little while. You know, they're doing 13 a turn. So, in, shoot, what is that? Like 10 turns. Uh, DEI. Okay, they got no stockpiles. They've been basically completely wiped out at this point. Um, they've got no production. Their oil production is going to be stolen by the Japanese. Uh, India, come on. Well, they got a lot of upkeep. A lot of upkeep. Uh, with the production. That's just because of units that are building here, reinforcement and upgrade. Uh, we would like to build more stuff, but we're just not in a position to. Uh, the Kiwis sitting on a 21 stockpile, as Kiwis like to do. They like to sit on their hoard of production. And then finally, the Philippines, uh, they don't have a chance really to build anything either. I guess we could maybe, I don't know, how much are supply trucks? 30! We could almost build some supply trucks. But overall, I think that's what we're going to do. We build a merch marine and a transport for the U.S. That was about it this turn. Okay, uh, we've looked at Dutch Harbor. Uh, this is Attu Station. I mean, we don't have anything stationed there, uh, so it's inaptly named. Uh, the Hawaiian Islands, we've already looked at this. I don't, you know, we can't take this air support. We wouldn't want to if we could, but we can't take them anywhere. Um, Johnston, we may move a unit out there at some point. French Polynesia, I'd like to visit, but not right now. Uh, we get down to the Kiwis. Uh, they've still got their units sitting in Auckland and Wellington. They have now resupplied our destroyer squadron. Thank you. Uh, at New Caledonia, we have this infantry division. It's building. We have it actually on priority repair. And we've got the U, the Houston out here. Let's look at the Houston really quickly. Uh, I wanted it out here for anti-air, but that doesn't really do a whole lot. It's just going to sit here. I think we're out of bombing. Yeah, I mean, I say I think. We're definitely out of bombing range for anything the Japanese have now. When they get something, you know, let's say they took here and we may be in bombing range. I think we would need to get that out of here. I don't think it could protect against that, really. Um, Yeah, here we go. Suva. We've got an infantry division here. We have also got the Salt Lake City that's just sitting here in Suva. That's fine. And we've got this tactical air group, which we're going to try to rebuild out here. They could have attacked a sub previously, but we didn't have any oil. Now we do. So we sent some oil down to the Kiwis, uh, and now they've got some you know, oil for this oil stockpile for this tactical unit. Let's get back up to it for just a second. It's really got to rebuild. I'm almost tempted to fly it. Can we Can we fly it out of here? Can it even get back to... Ooh, look, it can get all the way back here. And then I guess next turn we can put it over in Auckland. Um, the reason I would do that is... <sighs> hmm. It's just so under strength. I hate to have it sitting out here. Let's do that. Let's bring it all the way back here for this time. 
uh, and let it build up just a little bit. <clears throat> we'll have to remember it can make it from the corner of New Zealand up to Suva. I guess it could always flip over to Nomaya or something first. But we don't have any planes out here now. I don't like that at all. Uh, this is on garrison status. Pago's out here at garrison, I believe. Yeah. Okay, well, it is what it is. Um, Melbourne, fine. This is all fine. What do we have here? The Canberra is still building up. Brisbane, that's fine. Townsville. Okay, we've got the uh, Aussie 1st RAAF tactical group. They could go over to Moresby here, and I think that's what we'll do. Um, yeah, let's put them there, and let's put them on full support. And then we'll take the fighters, he says, from Dilly Dilly. These fighters, the tactical group. And we're going to move them over here. Um, I don't know. We can kind of put them anywhere here, right? Oh, that's right. We already discussed this. Let's put this back here. We want the fighters to get over here before we do any of that. Uh, fighters in good supply, they're not in good health. They really need to build up. So first of all, Let's put them down here in Darwin. Uh, the Grayling now has supply, but it really needs to repair. I wish I could get it out of here. Okay, so this unit's going to be here for now. We'll be trying to build that up. Okay, so we, we moved most of Australia. Uh, that looks fine. There's nothing we can really do here at Batavia. I mean... It's in active status. It's ready. It's going to be attacked. It's going to be destroyed. It's just a matter of how long it's going to take. We see this sub here. Out here, they still haven't attacked Mindanao. We have two fairly decent forces here. Uh, we could move this back, but I like having the double entrenchment. Um, although, if we lose Manila, that doesn't really matter. Uh, so, you know, okay. Uh, actually, let's move this unit over here and move this unit back. And we can now threaten to potentially attack. I mean, if we did a shift, I can't get any of these other ones involved in the attack though, right? Uh, one to three odds. So, I mean, we, we don't get good odds there, whatever we can bring into it. So that's not going to work for us, but that's fine. We'll, we'll kind of have them surrounded. I think maybe we've got it a little isolated here. I don't see how it would be getting any supply. So maybe we can kind of, uh, you know, destroy a unit or two on our way out. Uh, we've already moved some of this. I think in China, we're sitting kind of fine. I mean, I, I don't know. Where where else are we going to move really here? We could move this unit. Um, we can't rail it. There's no, no rail to use here. I may bring this one also back, though, the 7th Army Group, uh, to just help with Chungking. I mean, they're pushing here. I don't like that. Let's get that one back. So we've got two headquarters here, three units, three units. We, you know, we've got one over here just in case something weird were to happen. We'll just move this guy down here. I don't really know why. One, two, three, four. He was already in um, command, so that was kind of a pointless exercise, but that's okay. Uh, he has no command. We may as well move this guy down here. Would that put him in command? Yeah, I think it would, right? Yeah, now he's in command, and some of these are too. Um, we've got this command. Okay, we're going to move him up there. I think I'm going to move this guy, like, here? Does that make sense? Well, not yet. Let's let's wait. Okay, this guy's got a level 1 entrenchment. You can have up, you know, a level 0, 1, or 2. Uh, in each turn, they'll add one if you just sit still. We have these. This is the ones I'm kind of concerned about. Um we got to get this guy back to supply as well. He still has one turn left, but not looking that promising. 
Uh, this all looks fine, right? I mean, we can keep backing up here. I, I don't, th I don't think the Japanese want anything to do with us out here, to be honest with you. Um, so now they can get down into Lu Chao. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, everybody's in command. They're in the only road into these mountains. Man, those commies are smart. That is where you want to be holed up, especially with a level nine supply out here in the middle of the mountains. Love it. Um, could come down here and pressure this a little bit, couldn't I? I could, but I like to stay in the urban area with a level two entrenchment. Uh, I like that better. Okay, everybody here is in command. This all looks good. Cheng Sha holding, holding strong. Now, this Japanese unit's been sitting here forever. It hasn't attacked. I have a feeling this would be a very tough nut to crack. We got a 30 out of 30 here. 15, 13, 15, 50. Okay, so they're not building up fast, but, uh, you know, they're hanging in there. So that all looks good. Now, here's where our big problem is, and that's Rangoon. God, I would love to get this unit down here, but I don't think I can. I don't think I can. He could move. He can't move. Yeah, I moved most of these, right? I wonder what, what would happen. I mean, this is an air superiority group. Tactical is only a two. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Um, this unit, I'm going to go put in here in Lashio, I think. Does that make sense? Yeah, let's do that. Although, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, he's still in command, and I could always click on this and see everything that's in command. All right, they're still all in command. Now, he's going to move in there. That stinks. I wish I could get across... Here somehow but we we really can't and man if they take this out we're in a bit of a quandary we would have to start moving things over from Bombay and Delhi um, let's set him to oh shoot no don't do ah! let's hope they have enough to set this to active or I'm gonna be really mad at myself Oh, I already did that. <laughs> Thank goodness. I was like, if I pulled too much production out of a unit in Delhi and I couldn't get the Rangoon one to active, I was really going to be upset. Uh, we'll set this one to active too. So if we have to rail it up, I, this is inactive or is active. That almost sounded like I said is inactive. No, it is active. This can stay on garrison. Uh, Colombo garrison status. Okay. And then we have these units here. The flotilla is all repaired. Prince of Wales getting repaired. Okay, that shipyard at Colombo's working magic. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. I think we can resolve the turn. Uh, we looked through the build queue. All right. Uh, the UK will be building some stuff, but I, I'm hanging on a little bit here. Uh, we want this to be anti-tank 42, but I'm holding on. Hmm. Am I holding on, though? I was also thinking about building some escorts, some more escorts, uh, because we do have the Bay, we will have some Bay of Bengal action here, too. But uh, do I do it? Do I go ahead and build a British unit? I mean, we need more transports. We get four of them. Eh, we need units. We need units. Okay. Okay, uh, let's do another British anti-tank. Okay, let's do that. Uh, we've got 40 left then, 43 left. Uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, US 40 we could build. Let's see when this is going to come out on the other side. Uh, so now we've got the second division building and the fifth division building. So excellent. Okay. Um, you know, we got them coming, coming every month. Uh, for the U.S., what I'm trying to do is build transport kind of every time and maybe a merch marine every time and then something else as we get more and more. Uh, U.S. has got a 130 stockpile. It could pump out a division. Um, do we want to do that? We build a transport and a merch marine this time. I said I want planes. Yeah, let's wait for planes. Let's wait for planes. 
Um, and we'll do that next time. Then we'll start building more divisions. We've got that, you know, we've got those large cores. That's six divisions that are just sitting there. So we'll have we'll have plenty of troops when the time comes. Uh, we couldn't build anywhere else. Convoys. Uh, the Brits still have uh, a couple of merchant marines. Now they have two more oil that they could send down to. I don't know Australia. They've now got a pretty good side. <laughs> pretty good side pretty good size uh, stockpile of oil themselves so let's make this one i wish you could cre hit on this and just modify it but you can't australia three and nine we just got to remember that so let's go to australia uh let's go to australia they can only do two production okay uh and nine oil all right there we go um oh i see so we've only got one merch marine left got it okay okay um new trade merch marines right okay uh great so we've got that set up nine and three we're sending a lot down to india as well you are two and nine i should say two and nine okay um i mean i wish the soviet union could send us stuff that would be fun uh china does not need to be sending stuff anywhere china needs as much as they can get oh that reminds me though let's go to china and see if we want to even upkeep the more or hit more to upkeep it's producing 63 let's go to 66 i want i want as much reinforcement as we can get there war panel nothing to do there this time here's our reports let's go out to our units um the type you know I like to go look and make sure I've got the subs doing what I want them to do. The pike is there. Okay, that's fine. Skipjack is right there. Okay. Grayling is now in at Darwin. Okay, and we lost one. RIP out there. Um, combat log, we looked at that. Nothing to deploy. All right, so I guess the last thing to do this turn is hit next turn. Uh, this game really moves along once you, you know, have a good feel for kind of what's happening. Uh, it, it motors. All right, so we're going to end turn, see what happens. Yeah, this game so far really has me wanting to go back and play the original War Plan. It's just one I didn't play. I didn't, you know, again, it was nothing personal to the game. I, I didn't even, you know, explore the game to know whether I liked it or not. I thought it was kind of just a strategic command clone, like a straight up clone. And so I was like, well, what's the point? I played, you know, 500 hours of strategic command over the years, war in Europe, um, so what's the point? But now after playing this, I really like a lot of the systems. It is a little more deep than Strategic Command. And so now I think I'm going to go back and play the original War Plan. Uh, it, it, it's intriguing. I like this game. Um, you know, we'll see. Again, it's all going to come down to is the AI any good once we get beyond 1942. Uh, that'll be the real where you know, the real test lies a little bit, but this is going to be a good game to play against another human. I can already tell you that. Uh, I played enough of it now to say that, you know, pretty, pretty, you know, certainly. Okay, so they moved past us here in Rangoon. They moved down here to try to surround Rangoon. Yeah. We need to get more Indian units built. We need to get British units built. We need transports is what we need. Uh, very realistic in that way. That was the Allies' big problem at the start of the war. Uh, definitely in you know early 42 to mid 42, they just didn't have transports. They were not ready for any of this. It looks like they're gonna completely surround Rangoon, uh, in which case I don't think that unit can hold out uh, so it looks like we will lose Rangoon. I'm hoping we can take out one of the Japanese sub squads. The Japanese do not have a lot of subs historically. I mean, they started off with a, a pretty decent fleet, uh, but that got whittled away very quickly and they had no way to replace them. 
Uh, I think that would be very expensive for the Japanese in this game. Uh, you know, one reason I am building subs is they're fairly cheap for us. I don't know if the build costs would be different for the Japanese. I assume it probably would be. Uh, but the point being is the Japanese have a lot of other priorities. They've got a lot of units on the ground here to upkeep without a lot of oil or production. Uh, now, they're down here getting oil, which uh, stinks. You know, taking Java is just huge. Uh, they take uh, Palambang... Um, Valley Poppin, you know, they take those places, they're going to have a lot of oil. So they're attacking here, trying to break this unit out. They weren't able to do that. Uh, we didn't take a step back. And so they're trying to break this down, but I think we should be able to destroy this unit next turn. Uh, Rangoon, yep, they absolutely destroyed that army there. We're in a little bit of trouble there. <laughs> we got to get some Indian units built. And here they come, they're coming for Chungking. Uh, and now they've completely taken Batavia. They knocked that unit out. Okay. Now they're trying to attack these. Yeah, they knocked that unit back. We got to get that headquarters unit out of the way. Hopefully they can't get up to it. I guess I was a little free willy with that. Um, okay, we're going to have to drop back and pre protect Calcutta. Uh, the Burma Road has been broken. It has been severed. Uh, so we're going to have to back up here now and figure out next steps. Now, I was not able to get that unit down to Palembang just to maybe stall them for a turn or two. Uh, it's still a few hexes away. It looks like the Japanese are now moving towards Palembang, and that's uh, never good news for us. So here we go. 44 more units to go. Alrighty, uh, 38 units to go. So they are right here. This kind of worries me a little bit. They're really massing here. Now, Chungking is our capital. It's, uh, you know, uh, it is for now. Peking was taken long ago. Chungking is the capital. Changsha is probably the most important place on the map. I really think we may just attack this unit and try to knock out that entire army. That would be awesome if we could do that. We'll also go look at the Flying Tigers here. Um, they should be repaired. They were repairing three strength points a turn. That is a really powerful unit for us to have. Uh, you know, up here in Chongqing, they reach down here. They can protect protect Changsha. I think it's like one, two, three, four, five, and they've got a range of six. Uh, port naval operations. Okay. Uh, this game's really moving along. We'll be on February 15th uh, by the once this resolves. Okay. There we go. The Dutch East Indies has completely surrendered. Okay. Um, convoy attack versus Japanese Route 4747, the Pike, so out there in the South China Sea. Uh, got zero merchants, zero escorts. Okay, same thing with the Skipjack, but that's fine. We're going to keep going after it. If we can whittle away at those escorts, uh, we can make good things happen. India's 2nd Brigade surrendered. Dutch East Indies Batavia surrendered. Dutch East Indies overall surrendered. My goodness. Uh, we've got no supplies and no supply sources for some of these things. Uh, convoy attack. Gosh darn it. Now how did they get in there? Convoy attack versus UK route at 2125. Uh, one merchant marine and one escort. So they got an escort. So it knocked us down to nine. And then they got a merchant. Oh, should we? can we overstack those? I thought you could only put 10. But that may be the case. But they want to give them a chance if they do blow up an escort to be able to get a merchant marine too. Uh, we'll see. Um, squad attack the Indian Ocean convoy. Okay. U.S. Low, low oil supplies, convoy attack. I may take the Hermes out from Col uh, Colombo and go try to attack this sub. We know where it is. Um, they went after the Indian Ocean with two groups. They got a lot out here. Okay. Let's go look at that really quickly before we call it a turn. Because I want to see exactly what's going on here. Uh, we should have had this buffed up. Now that is sitting there. I want to take... The carrier group. I've got a, a carrier group here. Um, the the 
Hermes, we could put it with the Cornwall, right? I don't think I want to take the Repulse. I could maybe take the Revenge, but I really don't want to. I want to take them, and I'm going to come down here and try to attack. Now, what's the range on the Hermes aircraft? Three. Naval Air 5, Anti-Sub 2. Okay, so 1, 2, 3. Let's go right here just because I want to see if this works. Okay. Now then, Light Carrier Group, we have planes on here. Why would it not? Oh, no. Bomb strategic, bomb airfield, bomb armies, bomb naval. Huh. Why can I not bomb that? Now I'm curious about that. Does it have to be split off? Surely not. Surely not. That wouldn't make any sense. Uh, let's go on the Cornwall. Uh, I can always undo this, right? So let's go back to this. Can it attack this sub? Well, maybe we just don't know if it's still here. Like, that's the last sighting. Maybe that's what it is. Um, I'm going to go read the rule book. <laughs> I do want to know why that is. Why that would be the case. Um, wish we could see our planes. Hermes Squadron. What else could I pick here? Uh, it's got to be Bomb Naval. It's none of these things. Uh, but I wonder why I can't do a bombing run there. Uh, maybe, you know, I know I can't attack it with a surface fleet. But why couldn't I attack it? Well, they're only at 10%. Maybe that's part of it. Uh, huh. Well, we're going to find out, folks. I'm going to get an answer to that um, because I really want to know that. That's obviously about as important as it gets, right? Uh, we're in big trouble here. Big trouble in little Burma. Um, yeah, we're going to have to move this headquarters up here to Chittagong and start the slow march back. Now, that's one of five. He's got five strength points. He's only got three. This one's got nine. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. This unit, you know, we're definitely going to drop back. This unit, I, I feel like maybe I should go here. Let's take the supply off. Yeah, they don't have to go across the river there, though, do they? So I guess we can start dropping these back along the road. Um... I don't want to leave these just all alone. Maybe we leave him there for this turn. Eh, I don't want them to be able to move up this road. Okay, let's put him right there. Let's put him right there. Uh, but we'll deal with all of this when we come back. I will figure out that Hermes, uh, the CL Hermes deal. Now, part of that could be because the planes are at 10%. Um, I'm just not sure. I just don't know, and I'll always tell you when that's the case. So anyway, thank you guys so much for dropping by. This has been Strategy Gaming Dojo. Have a good one.